today before I go out and do the mulch in the garden, uh, I have a couple of little projects that I want to get done. Um, I have at the store uh, found, I didn't, I didn't mean to do this, but I did it uh, because I, again, I couldn't help myself. But I've been in the on the market for uh, some Reliance grapes, and uh, I have this really nice new arbor next to my my little lavender garden here that I have, and um, and I wanted to put some grapes on the arbor, and I really wanted Reliance grapes, and I could only find them at Stark Brothers; they were sold out, or it was too expensive, it was beyond my budget, and then I found them at Walmart for like five dollars so uh, it's worth a shot for five dollars so um, I don't want to plant them out because they do have these these green leaves on them I also found a couple other things I got a uh, service berry from tractor supply some pine berries um, and then sorry, some viburnium uh, but they have green on them and I'm still not even close to my last frost date so what I'm going to do is, um, so they don't dry out and they don't, and I can set them out in the sun and they can kind of stay happy during the day and then I can bring them in at night. Um, all I do is I take the, the bag that they have, that they come in, and I cut a hole in the bottom and then I stick them in this bucket. And that bucket has water in it and I can just kind of, I'll prop them in there. Um, and then I can empty out the water if they've been in there too long or I can refill it if they're starting to get dry. And that's just kind of the way that I, I kind of keep them good until it's time to get them planted. Man, if I thought yesterday was a good day, pretty day, it's got nothing on today. What a great day we've got going on here. So I get to lay mulch today which is gonna be the final touch on this garden here. Uh, and then I'll start planting stuff tonight. I don't wanna do it during the heat of the day because I don't wanna shock my plants too much. Let them have overnight to kinda of get used to what's going on. So I am getting all the, I've got all the weeds out. Uh, and I've laid a load of mulch. There it is, looking super snazzy. And I've got another load right here in my handy dandy wheelbarrow. And I just, just wanted to say that sometimes you lay down the mold or the leaf mold and uh, no weeds come up. Sometimes you get some that are already established and they pop up and it's okay, they're super easy to pull. Uh, in the mulch, sometimes you get weeds too and so um, if it's a real like it's usually it's just weeds here and there just a little bit and I just pull them out real easily um, we did let let a bunch of chickweed last year go to flower uh, because we wanted it to spread a little bit and um, it very happily obliged us and so we have a bunch that's in our in my path here with the mulch and it was difficult to pull it out it was there was too much of it and they were too little and they were all kind of grouped together and spreading out across uh, so I just didn't want to deal with that and so this is what you do so here I have um, cardboard and I just laid it down it's not real thick cardboard and I kind of already had it laying down up in the lavender field trying to kill the grass right there so it's a little it's a little weathered and beat up but I'm just gonna pour the mulch on top of that and now I don't have to weed this spot, and that's fabulous. beautiful that is oh my goodness so as you can see up here is not done at all hardly my wonderful mother-in-law she was um, 
she was weeding it out today and yesterday so that's done which is very nice because the leaf mold uh, the heavy leaf mold did not get put up there last year and so we had quite a few weeds um, but this is done and this was all done with basically um, a trailer load of leaf mold and then a trailer load of mulch and I used basically the whole thing so I got to go get another trailer load of mulch and another trailer load of leaf mold and that should do pretty good with oh my goodness there that should do pretty good with uh, the garden that's up top here and then after that then we have the food forest behind me and then after that then I got to do the lavender hill all the way up there I gotta keep digging those beds, get ready. But I mean, it's the middle of March, so I don't have to worry too much because I just need to have those done by May 3rd. So I've got time-ish, time-ish. Okay, so really exciting thing. Today is the first day that I'm putting plants into the garden. It's happening today, it, today's the day. Today's the day. What do we got? We've got peas. We've got turnips and radishes, and we've got calendula. These peas I started a week or two ago, and so I'm going to plant these out, and then I'm also going to plant seeds of peas, and we're gonna kind of see and experiment which ones do better. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. There's not much more exciting than actually planting. It's my favorite part. Um, so I was putting my peas in and I realized I didn't remember where I wanted to put the radishes, but then I brought my map with me so I didn't need to remember where they should go so that everything else later on in the season will line up well. So I know that my radishes need to go right here. And here we are on the edge of this bed. And I'm gonna stick those in, I've got them right here. And I don't have to do any more thinking. I just look at the map, put the plants in, and all the stress is gone. Just plant them, get them in, and have fun. So I have a whole lot of calendula, and I'm excited to use calendula all over my garden this year. I'm going to put them on the edge of the beds, uh, on both sides, all over, uh, and we're just gonna have calendula everywhere. And if it self-seeds, that's wonderful. And if it doesn't self-seed, that's okay. I'll just plant more next year. But we're gonna have calendula, kind of like I usually have marigold, everywhere. And calendula is a marigold, so that kind of works really well. I will also have marigold everywhere as well. <laughs> Okay, I got the seedlings in and now I'm going inside for dinner because I definitely worked up an appetite. It has been a long day. Leaf mold is much lighter than mulch and so even though there was less wheelbarrows full, the mulch was definitely heavier. So I think it kind of evened out in the end, but I could not be happier. Tomorrow, I can't wait to tell you what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. And then let's see how these babies grow. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much and I hope you have a wonderful evening and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.